Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to create something in 3D. So in this case it will be like a light stand. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a ruler, a guide like so. I'm going to grab another one like this, like this, and you'll understand why I'm bringing all of this uh, like so like so and another two guides and actually I'm going to bring another one like so okay so I've you'll understand now the reason why I've got these guides and these guides are very simple it's just to help me draw so I'm going to grab the pen tool and I'm going to get make sure I've got the exclude overlapping path areas and let's start so I'm going into the first one I'm going to zoom so you see what I'm doing so I'm going to click here like so and I'm just going like this I'm just literally just clicking and click again and again and now in here I'm going to create a small curve I'm not going to be very fussy about it so, uh, now in this point I'm just going to hold ALT and move it slightly and click here again and in the bottom and create that small curve again ALT click and I'm going to click like so and I'm going to click here and bring a small curve like this and I'm going to click ALT and just click and click on the top and there we go and we have uh, a path created so I'm going into view and clear the guides and there we go see basically the guides was to help me especially the middle section because uh, think about it symmetrically so if you have another path like this on the side you'll have like a shape of a lampshade however I want to do something different so I'm going to create a new layer I'm going to fill with my foreground color there we go and now I'm going into 3D I'm going 3D, repose and selected path and basically the path will be converted into a 3D object 3D repose and the any second now and it will happen there we go so I'm going just to move the panel to the side and what I'm going to do is I'm going into the twist and as you can see the scrubby I'm going just all the way whoops sorry 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 I'm going to make it zero going back to zero I messed up there you go zero the X angle sorry the X angle we go all the way all the way to minus 360 and let's carry on 318 360 and well doesn't look exactly how we expected so in here we have the the points in here just next to bend so we're going to click this option in here and there we go very cool so now I'm just going to mesh quality and I'm going to best so it will give me much better effect now we have this hole in here we can take it out just going with depth all the way to zero and there we go we have nice light so very cool so now we're going to click OK and uh, we have it in 3D space however 
let's work with some textures. So we're going in here into the layers pa palette. We can see layer one exclusion material. I'm going to make long layers in here and we're going to double click it and it opens so basically this is the texture for for this extrude and uh, you can find it here as well in 3d panel if you don't see it just go into window and 3d and it will open this one and as you can see the by default it's this gray which is transparent so what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to fill it with blue, this blue right and um, now I'm just going to select my move tool and as I've got show transform controls it comes up and gives me the middle of this document so I'm going just to put the guide in the middle grab my marquee tool select and delete this section and uh, I'm going into file and save because basically I'm saving this it's like a smart object it will update in here and as you can see we start seeing something and uh, the texture in here is a bit too much so I'm going to select this layer and I'm just going to bring it down slightly like so okay I'm going to control s to make it simple and there you go now we need to get the textures in here on the top so I'm going like so create a new layer I'm going to get rid of this guide because I don't need it I'm going to just get marquee tool and uh, I'm going like so and I'm going to choose a different color I'm going for something like this and alt delete and there you go well doesn't look pretty but the point is for you to see how it works working with textures and uh, as you can see even though the um, as you can see it's vertical the lamp oh, in here on the exclusion panel ex on the exclusion material actually it's sideways so we know the right is the bottom and the left is the top and let's go in here and let's add a pattern let's say a pattern something like mm well this will do this will do let's change the blending mode to darken yeah this looks okay control s to save it and we have the texture in here see very cool but because I went too far it just goes like um, it just went to the bottom as well so to get rid of this bit on the bottom simple just go into move tool and select and just bring it down a tiny bit control s to save it and as you can see well it actually looks quite cool and there you go first tutorial about this to create um, this effect and you can create something from scratch uh, with 3D inside Photoshop CS5 Extended. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye for now.